In this tutorial, I'll show you how to quickly begin elevations in AutoCAD. So I have my small cabin that I've been working on. I've got my walls, doors, windows, and some of my dimensions already taken care of. And what I want to do is draw some elevations. And for this exercise, I'm going to draw the front and this right side. And I could start over here by drawing the walls and the roof. Uh, based on the measurements that I've calculated here uh, with my dimensions. But I found that there's a much easier way to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my dimensions. And I've already created a new layer called Elevations. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a bunch of lines from key points so that would include my endpoints of my building, as well as, in this case, my, my windows and my doors. And it doesn't matter how far out you go, uh, though I would recommend going out uh, quite a good distance. That will make things a little bit easier as you go along. So I could also make sure that my ortho is turned on, that way I only have straight lines. So let's check that. I think I have all my major features. Let me go down here and do the same thing for the front of the structure. And you will find by doing this that if you have a slightly different measurement than perhaps on your original sketch, it's going to be accurate based on the way you drew it in CAD for your floor plan. And I'm just selecting right click, repeat line every time. And I'm zooming in just to make sure I collect the correct point. So I've got my, oh, forgot my end here. So let's go down to the end. Okay, so I've got my ends, I've got my door, I've got my two windows, got my ends, my two windows. And you notice that my lines are not even, that's okay. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to draw a line. And I'll start at the midpoint here and go down to this one. And I'll do the same thing on this one. And then I'm going to offset this line 8 feet because that's going to be the height of my wall. So I'm going to go to my offset command. The distance is 8 feet. Select my line. And do the same thing with this one. Now I want to go through and I want to trim this. I basically want to trim all of this out and I want to trim all of this out. So I'm going to select trim. I'm going to select everything, click right click to change function and then I can simply drag through and drag through again. Hit escape and let me do the same thing down here at the bottom. Click right click drag through and I'm going to trim those off and you notice I've got some that don't reach this line that's okay I'm going to use my extend command to so extend where am I going to I'm going to this one right click to change function and making sure that all of those touch I can zoom in to make sure that looks good hit escape so now I have an 8 foot tall wall that has all of the features of my, my wall, such as doors and windows. The next thing I want to do, and this is going to be especially uh, true when I get into my roof system, is I want to align all of my elevation views. So normally I would have four, but I'm just doing two for this exercise. So I'm going to select Move. I'm going to grab those right click, I'm going to select a base point, and I'm going to turn my ortho off. 
And I'm going to go over here just to give myself some room to work. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can align these. Uh, I think the easiest thing is to simply draw a line out and then move it to that line. So let me do that. So I'm going to select move, click here, right click. I'm just going to grab it somewhere because I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to go to rotate, select all my objects, click, right click to change function. There's my base point. And this might be a good place to turn on your ortho. If it gets a little skewed, it gets really difficult to fix later on. So I'm going to click ortho. So click that. That's good. And then I'm going to draw a line. That way I can keep all of my elevations the same distance apart. Click line. I'm going to come out about 20 feet escape and then I'm going to move this one right click to change function turn off my ortho and hit that point and then I'm going to delete that line and now I have my elevations for the front and my right side and they're aligned so the next thing I'm going to do is put in my doors and windows so I'm going to go to offset and it wants to know my distance. Typically my header height for both my doors and my windows is going to be six foot eight. I'm going to select here, go here and here and here. So for my door, that outline is finished. So if I wanted to, I could trim it. I think I'll wait and I'll do my window first. So how tall are my windows? Let's say that they're four feet. So I'm going to select offset four feet and I'm going to select this one and go down and I'm going to have the same windows over here. Go down. So I'm going to start deleting things that I do not need. I'm going to click trim, draw a box around it, right click to change function and I'm going to select each of these individually I could draw a line through them but I really want to make sure that I get the correct lines pretty happy with that hit escape let me do the same thing over here on this side select trim Draw a box around it, click, right click to change function, and I am going to work my way around. Hit escape, those look good. I'm going to put some trim around my door and windows. So let's select offset. And we'll do three and a half inches and I'm simply going to build this out I'm going to do the same thing over here click pull out and again you want to be fairly dramatic uh, if you're not dramatic enough it might flip to the other side All right, hit escape, and now I need to finish these corners. And the easiest thing to do is to select fillet and select the two that I'm working with. I'm going to repeat fillet, select the two lines I'm working with. And because my radius is set to zero, it creates a 90 degree. So right click fillet. So down here at the bottom, if you notice, it says radius is zero feet, zero inches that creates then a 90 degree corner. Do this a few more times. That one looks good and let's go over here.
And I don't have enough room to put trim in between the windows. So this would be one piece of trim. So I want to extend my lines. I want those to meet. So to do that, I'm going to use modify and come down to join. I'm going to select this one and this one and right click. And now that is one line. So let's do that again. So repeat join this one and this one and either enter or right click and that becomes one continuous line. So that is how to quickly begin elevations in AutoCAD.